Sanbun and Bangwele, I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We just praise Him this morning for the word that He has put in our hearts, the word uh, that confirms His love and provision for us this morning. The word that God has given to us this morning is from the book of Luke, chapter number 4. Uh, verse 4 but we'll read from verse 1 i'm reading from the amplified version luke chapter number 4 verse number 1 says then jesus full of and controlled by the holy spirit returned from the jordan and was led in by the holy spirit for during 40 days in the wilderness desert where he was tempted tried tested exceedingly by the devil and he ate nothing during those days and when they were completed he was hungry verse 3 then the devil said to him if you are the son of god order the stone to turn into a loaf of bread verse number four and jesus replied to him it is written Men shall not live and be sustained by on bread alone, but by every word and expression of God. We see here that when uh, the devil tempted Jesus Christ, firstly, Jesus was full of the Holy Spirit. And so he was led by the Holy Spirit to be tempted uh, by the devil. So God is saying to us this morning that uh, we are filled by his Holy Spirit. And so when the devil comes to tempt us, we need to be assured that uh, we will conquer. Why? Because uh, we are led and, and, and filled by his Holy Spirit. He says for 40 days in the desert, Jesus was tried. He was tested. He was exceedingly tempted by the devil. And so God is saying, if you have been during a, a time of testing, a time in the desert, a time when you've been tried exceedingly by the devil, and he, he says that Jesus Christ ate nothing in those days, and then afterward he was hungry, verse 3 says, then the devil said to him, knowing that uh, uh, Jesus now physically was hungry because verse 1 says he was filled by the Holy Spirit and so we must not take the physical hunger and confuse it with the spiritual hunger when we are filled spiritually then we are able to speak the word of God against the devil and conquer the devil uh, uh, with the word of God. So physically, Jesus Christ was hungry. And uh, we know that scientists and doctors say that uh, 40 days is the maximum that this physical body can take without food. So Jesus was genuinely hungry. Verse 4 says, and Jesus replied to him, it is written, Jesus uh, replies with the word of God, Men shall not live and be sustained by on bread alone, but by every word and expression of God. So the physical body uh, was hungry. The physical body was wanting. But Jesus Christ, verse 1 says, he was filled by the Holy Spirit. And so we see that... Um, also was filled by the word and he replies uh, by the word of God. And so when we are filled by the Holy Spirit, uh, we are filled by the word of God. And so God says in your lack, in your physical lack, God sustains us by his Holy Spirit. He sustains us by his word. What does he say in his word? His promises are yes and amen and so when you look at your situation this morning you may not have a full fridge you may not have the latest clothes you may not have money in your bank account this morning god says it is his word that sustains us it is his word that keeps 
bless us. It is his word that provides for us. He says, he shall surround us with favor as a shield. Even though the money is not in your bank account, but God is able to touch someone wherever they are overseas and say, provide for my child. And so it is the word of God that sustains us. It is the word of God that fills us. It is the, our faith in his word. He says he, a, 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 a heaven and earth shall pass away, but his word shall remain forever. He holds his word above himself. So God makes sure that his word is faithful. So child of God this morning, eh, be assured that by the word of God, you shall have whatever he says hold on to his word stand on his word stand have faith on his word that whatever he has said it shall come to pass even if uh, you look around your physical your carnal situation it seems that uh, things are going wrong but trust God this morning. Trust his word this morning. The word that is, is shared and proclaimed everywhere around the world. The same word that is spoken of. The same word that is preached all over the world. The world. That same word shall sustain you this morning. Have faith in his word this morning. He says in the book of Deuteronomy chapter number 8 verse number 3 he says and he humbled you and allowed you to hunger and fed you with manna which you did not know nor did your fathers know that he might make you recognize and personally know that man does not live by bread only but man lives by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the lord god is saying this morning he has humbled us he has taken physical things away from us why so that he may show us that we are not sustained by physical bread. Jesus Christ is the bread of life. He says, but man lives by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the Lord. I'm reminded of, of Revelation where he says, when John says he saw a sword come out of Jesus Christ, a sword that is sharper than a double-edged sword. So the word of God sustains us this morning. It is not the physical bread. It is the word of God that sustains us. He says he has humbled us. Each of us have gone through something in these two years. We've seen the coronavirus do something, take away uh, uh, the, the work of our hands that perhaps we Pilisayo, Namslange Xeni, Masaz Wut Yizri, Ligankulunkulu, Elis Pilisayo, Unkulunkulu has humbled us, he has taken us out he has taken things away from us, he has taken us away from our comfort zones. It is not our diplomas or degrees or, 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 or connections that sustain us. Today we know Unguti is Ligankulunkulu that sustains us. And so, child of God, know this morning, you are alive. Why? Because the word of God is true. He says, I shall not die, but I shall live to proclaim uh, the word, the wonders of my Lord. We shall live and proclaim the word of our Lord. Be assured this morning that God has humbled us. He has humbled you. Why? So that we have been given manna and when research has been done into the ingredients of manna uh, that the Israelites ate uh, in the desert it has it been found the manna the simple looking manna had all the nutrients that the Israelites 
needed for their physical bodies. So whatever little that God has given to you during this time had all the nutrients that we had needed. The physical food, the spiritual food that God has given uh, to us during this time where he has humbled us. It had all the nutrients that we had needed. There are some lessons that we needed to learn during this time that we physical. He said he will humble us. He has humbled us. And so, child of God, this morning, as God takes us into Canaan, as God leads us into Canaan, the land that is flowing with milk and honey, may we be reminded that it is only the word of God that sustains us. It will not be the positions. It will not be the milk. It will not be the honey. It will not be the positions. It will not be the connections. It will be and always will be the word of God. So, let us be reminded that in this new season, in this year of Jubilee, when God cancels our debts, when God puts us in new positions, when God uh, gives us plenty overflowing things, may we be reminded to stay humble and to stay in his word and know and fully know that we are sustained by his word and by his word only. May God exceedingly bless you and remind you that it is his Holy Spirit who fills you. It is, it is his word who fills you. And when the enemy attacks, may we reply with the word of God because we conquer only by the word of God. He is alive. The word of God is alive. And so may you be sustained and be filled by the word of God, even as we start this new week. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen.